how we plant many of our early tomatoes at Magic Land Farms. Today is uh, May 18th, 2013. Temperature right now is at uh, about 2.30, it's 80 degrees out here, it's almost exactly 80. And what we're showing here is preparing to uh, plant some of our earth. Primo tomatoes. We've already put in uh, our little reds in uh, high tunnels. I mean, you can see the high tunnels way back there. There's our, there's our high tunnel, and those are low tunnels. We're going to put them in. We already put our little reds in the low tunnels. And that was on May 13th. Uh, okay, now we're putting, uh, using uh, Holland Transplanter Company's uh, Model 90 uh, plastic mulch layer. Uh, this Holland uh, Transplanter Company is located just about a mile and a half east northeast of Holland Hospital in Holland, Michigan. We found it works quite well, even though they don't. Uh, claim it works great on, uh, I mean the company doesn't claim it works great on raised breads. Uh, we found it does work quite well. We, we make our, we did these earlier, we use our uh, make a raised beds. We run raised beds with a modified uh, Howard Rotovator. And as long as you keep them, the raised bed about four inches, less than four inches, it, uh, we seem to it seems to, this Model 90 seems to work really well. Now we'll show, uh, see, first, yeah, first off, we also laid the drip tape over there. That's the drip tape beneath the plastic. Right now, the, you got to prepare the, uh, prepare the plastic to start. You got to do a little hand work, and then we also, while well, not everybody does it, we, we, we follow it up uh, by hand to make sure it's working okay. See the drip tape goes underneath the plastic and then we uh, hook that up to a uh, water source and uh, provides uh, drip irrigation which is very uh, water, saves a lot of water. And here we're going to go now. Got all set to go. This is a Ford, Massey Ferguson 431 tractor and here we go. Line it up just right. It works really nice when you have long rows, but we have these short rows, and we have to uh, the big job is turning. Ideal farm would be a mile long and a quarter mile wide, but you make do with what you got. We got right here. It's the short rows. We have some quarter mile long rows, but. job. A lot easier to do it by hand. Actually, one year we did the slate plastic by hand. Quite a hard work. You really don't require uh, people walking behind it. But we just want to make sure we're doing a good job. It does it a good job. Then later, later we're going to be start laying some, putting some, I mean, putting some, uh, transplanting some uh, tomatoes in there. Here, I just take a, there's my daughter, Bern, that's carrying some tomatoes for, she's preparing to plant some. Now we're at the end already, so we got to prepare the drip tape. We have some 500 foot long beds we make and that's works pretty nice. You get much longer than 500 foot than the, uh, with the drip tape and you start to run out of water pressure at the end.
See, it takes long, a lot longer to turn the thing than it does to lay it. But we have a nice southern slope here of nice rich ground, which makes for a nice, it's a warm southern slope and it makes for early tomatoes. We like Primo because they're nice size, good tasting, and they one of the earlier large size tomatoes. Not as early as the early red or our sun sugar. We get in uh, the high tunnel bay over there, as you can see, we, that's where our sun sugar are. If they have to end there is a little bit of handwork always. And starting at the end there's handwork needed. There's our old uh eight and Ford with a wagon with uh our tomato plants on top. We we start our tomato plants from seed in our in our inside inside in our uh, light stand with fluorescent lights and then we put it in move it into our unheated greenhouse as the weather warms a bit. See there's the end uh, we still have to connect all the drip tapes together. We're going to make another pass. See it missed a little bit at the end, which you, of course, we touch it up with a hand. Happily, there isn't very much of that. Now after we uh, lay the plastic, the first step of course is to make the, well we, we disc the ground and then we uh, use, raise, use, uh, make raised beds with our <clears throat> modified rotavator. Then we uh, lay the plastic with the drip tape and then to get prepared to uh, plant the plants. Do that with a uh, a little postal digger because their plants are quite big and we use peat pots and that way uh, has good uh... these tomatoes on the wagon that we're transplanting uh, today are primo tomatoes primo means uh, first in Italian and it has a good name because uh, they were one of the very first tomatoes that are ripened that are good size. We put them in, uh, we transplant them on 3-7. After we lay the plastic, uh, we start planting. We, as you can see, we're, uh, these are in peat pots and uh, we uh, dig a hole with a little postal digger and then uh, drop the plants in like this. We let it set and then the next crew of plants, so actually plants them. See on this row these are already planted. 
these are to be planted. That's all you do is uh, we, we usually take the bottoms off of the peat pots to make sure they don't get root uh, and uh, want to you know get into the roots so the roots will want to venture into the ground rather than, than into uh, just stay in their peat pot and then we just plant them like that see watch he's going to take the bottom off and so it gives the encourages the roots to go into the dirt Now if it's, uh, if you didn't use peat pots, uh, we sometimes we plant it bare rooted. We always use, uh, put the drip tape right on, because, uh, or if it's in the rain, or if it's going to rain right away. But you can, with peat pots, because we have, there's so much soil that, and uh, in the moist ground, which we have moist ground here, she takes off the, the breaks all the peat pot, and plants it. When we have a bit of moist ground, moist ground, then uh, gives it a chance to uh, get set before we turn on the water. We'll do that. This is Saturday. We'll do that on uh, Monday. We have quite a bit of uh, Plants to go yet, as you can see. See here's a, there's a, there's how they look. There's a close up of it. They coming right through the peat pot, but uh, we like to encourage them by taking the bottom off to make sure they don't become. become by the end of the day, we wound up planting 592 primo tomato plants in eight rolls. So they were about 140, 150 feet long rolls. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to this channel, Magic Land Farms, for more videos. Also check out our other channel at youtube.com slash Guy.